so guys in this video we'll be looking at how to create a new email account so you're creating a new gmail account so there are so many reasons why you may want to create a gmail account this is the google suite google suite comprises of all these google um applications if you don't have a gmail account you won't be able to use all of them including youtube youtube is owned by google your gmail your chat your drive all of these all, all of these applications are all managed under one google account so this is called the g suit is a google suit all these things the google docs the sheets the slides and all of that there are so many of them all right so owning a gmail account gives you access to all of these all of these platforms in fact you can't even use google itself like google to search anything if you don't have a gmail account so in this video we're going to be looking at how to easily create one it's as easy as anything to create a new gmail account you just have to come to google if you already have an existing one you can click here to see your existing gmail account then you can click here to add a new account or you can simply just type gmail on google so when you come here you can just see this google you can see this gmail so if you click on this gmail it's going to bring you to where you can create a new account but since I already have one account, I'll just go through this route. So I'll just click on add account. So I can add an existing account. If I already have another Gmail account that is not yet logged into this system. So inside one account, you can have multiple Gmail accounts, right? So I can log into a new Gmail account here. But since we want to create a new one, I'll just click on create account. So it's going to give you these three options to choose which kind of account you want to create. You want to create a personal account. Is it for your child or is it for a business? So business email usually are the professional email that ends with your domain name.com. All right. So, but that's not what we are doing here. We want to create a personal account for personal use. I'll click on this one and it's going to bring you here to put in your first name and then your last name, which is optional so the name i want to use here is just ask chris um okay let me use chris here good ask chris so i'll click on next so you put your name then you need to put a date of birth because if you're not up to a certain age you won't be able to use uh gmail all right so maybe i'll just put 2000 so i'll just put 2000 here that's 24 years i think that's cool then gender should be male custom whatever rather not see so click on next it's going to bring you here here you can choose uh how you want that email to be that is it's going to be chris at ask13.com ask chris 57 you know we can make it custom let's click on custom i want it to be ask chris at gmail.com ask chris at gmail.com so maybe i want an underscore here ask chris at gmail.com all right this is good uh i'll just click on next and see if it's available it's not available only letter a to z number is allowed so they don't allow characters they don't allow special characters so i cannot put this let's try this one maybe you can put this one like this ask chris okay let's try see if it's available it's already taken we cannot use it ah uh, so let's try ask chris 247 i ask chris 247 at gmail.com let's see if that's available i think it's available so the next thing you need to do is to put your password here so you need to put a password that you'll always remember So then you put the password again. All right. So you click on next. Make sure it's password that you'll always remember. Okay. So it's gonna bring you here. This is this is where you put your phone number. Okay. So you put your phone number here. You depend on your country where you are. If you're not in this is for Nigeria because I'm in Nigeria right now. I just click here and it's going to give you a list of the whole country. So pick your own country here. Then uh it will change to your country code for example if you are in for example if you're in the philippines just click on the philippines here 
then put your phone number here it is going to send you a code through sms to your phone number uh then you put in the code and verify this uh, account and then your account is created if you're in a different country just come here and swipe go down and select that country where you are so if you're in the united states then you put your united states phone number here then you receive your sms uh, you receive your code then you receive your code through an sms uh, you just impute that code and then this account is created and you can use it uh, to do whatever you want to do all right so guys if this video if you find this video helpful please drop a comment on the comment section Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.